Dear students, today we are going to discuss about the different types of dosimeters, mainly passive dosimeters and active dosimeters. So first is about passive dosimetry. Passive dosimetry involves the use of a material to record dose and then take the material out of the radiation environment to read the recorded value. This method is not suitable for measuring instantaneous dose rates, but it is highly successful and convenient for measuring integrated dose. Some of the commonly used passive dosimetric techniques include thermoluminescent dosimetry, optically stimulated luminescence dosimetry, film dosimetry and track edge do Next is about active dosimetry. Active dosimetry involves use of an electronic detector and is suitable for measuring both instantaneous and integrated doses. The commonly used active dosimetry active dosimetric system includes ionization chamber dosimetry solid state dosimetry, plastic scintillator dosimeter, quartz fiber electroscope, etc. Next is about personal monitoring. To ensure that occupational radiation exposure levels are kept very below the annual effective dose limit, some means of monitoring personal exposure must be employed. The radiographer and other occupationally exposed persons should be aware of the various radiation exposure monitoring devices and their functions. Personal dosimetry refers to the monitoring of equivalent dose to any person occupationally exposed on a regular basis to ionizing radiation. The purpose of personal dosimeters The personal dosimeter provides an indication of the working habits and working conditions of diagnostic imaging personnel. It determines occupational exposure by detecting and measuring the quantity of ionizing radiation to which the dosimeter has been exposed over a period of time. But it does not protect the wearer from exposure because the instrument is only capable of detecting and measuring the amount of ionizing radiation to which it has been exposed. Next is about the characteristics of personal dosimeters. A personal dosimeter should be lightweight and easy to carry and be made of materials durable enough to tolerate a normal daily use. The dosimeter must be able to detect and record both small and large exposures in a consistent and reliable manner. Outside influences such as very warm weather, humidity and ordinary mechanical shock should not affect the performance of the instrument. As many employees in a healthcare facility may be assigned to wear radiation monitors, the monitors are required to be reasonably inexpensive to purchase and maintain. And this permits healthcare facilities to use large number of monitors in a cost effective manner. Four types of personal dosimeters are currently widely used to measure individual exposure of the body to ionizing radiation. They are optically stimulated luminescence dosimeters, thermoluminescent dosimeters, pocket ionization chambers, personal digital ionization dosimeters, etc.